Are BMWs still catching on fire even though the blower motor wiring has been corrected? That's coming up in this video. Hey guys and welcome back. So about two years ago there was a lot of talk about uh, BMWs catching on fire. Uh, nothing from BMW at that time, but more occurrences happened over you know months and weeks and days and stuff like that until the final cause came out that the blower motor wiring was at fault. So the blower motor wiring connects to your blower motor. It's underneath your dash. If you want to check them, see like the condition of yours, check out my little uh, DIY video right up there at the above. Um, but it is an active recall as of right now. If you have not taken in your BMW into a BMW dealership, please do so now so that way uh, you can get that fixed. But there was this news company that came out, so a few people stressed concerns about you know their car caught on fire within their garage, and there was another report that was just like the very same one, but they've already been into the dealership and it, everything has been replaced. So it's kind of like, was a blow motor wiring the true fault? Or is there something else in the mix of all that that's making it still kind of catch on fire? Maybe it decreases the, the likelihood of that. That could be a possibility, but there could be other things that kind of spin off. It only takes one time um, you know, for something to happen for them to maybe investigate further. So I was just seeing a lot of it. I tried to reach out to the news company that actually did publish that. I'm still waiting a response back to that. Um, I wanna fact check a few things on that. But um, I saw it another time from a different news company that's, that had the same kind of ordeal. It's already been in the dealership to be you know, fixed. Everything was good. No open recalls, of course, for that. But yet they still had an issue. So very, very strange. They had no other mechanical issues either. That's the thing. Because sometimes people can point it to like, oh, well, it was something this over here on the car that caused it or, or something over there. So. You know, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Do you think it's the end of it? Do you think just the blower motor wiring is the complete fix? There's not gonna have, there's no other issues that's gonna happen uh, for that. Uh, like I said, let me know. So my thoughts are, you know, one that is a perfect source for everything that's been happening to that. So that that's a quick fix. And there have been people that have had some pretty sketchy wiring. So that's to say, uh, when you're running your blower motor and stuff like that. So of course that's like my main thing that I would point to as far as, yeah, that being the cost. And, and like I said, that's why I wanna fact check these other um, news companies that are releasing stuff. And this is pretty new stuff too. This is like the last couple weeks. Um, one was like a month and a half ago when I was first researching it. So the video is just now coming out as of right now. But just rewinding two years ago, no one had any idea as far as it was the blower motor wiring. And actually no one had any idea that it, that it was um, something that was causing something to fail like that. It was just like, oh, well, there's an accident or, oh, my car, you know, is acting up and, and no one looked further into it until more and more and more people had the same problem then it took notice. It could definitely go a few different ways, uh, whether it is, uh, you know, just a few occurrences and that's it, and we don't hear from it for a long, long time, then, you know, it might not be really looked at. I still have to get my car into the dealership. Of course, I did check my uh, wiring and it is 100% perfect, no issues whatsoever. I will still take it in, get it all checked out, get it fixed as far as the remedy goes. Probably in about two weeks, I'll be uh, taking it in to get that done. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. And I will be in uh, Rancho Cucamonga, California all next week. So if you are local to the area, also let me know down in the comment section below. So I got some more stuff going on out there. And then we'll be back uh, to uh, a lot more DIYs. All right. Big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't already. Thanks again if you're a returning subscriber. Hope you have a great week. Take care.